Firehawk radio linking guide for hard of hearing system. Firehawk RF link devices can be radio linked wirelessly to smoke alarms FHB10RF, heat alarms FHH10RF, carbon monoxide alarms CO10RF, RF link equipped main smoke and heat alarms fitted with FHN600 RF RF link module and hearing impaired control units FHN 800 HIA. Connect. Remove front cover. Apply the power supply to turn on the control unit. If the control unit is not linked to an alarm, the fault light will appear within a few seconds of powering the unit. Insert either one or two vibrating pads or leave them unplugged for strobe light only. This is important as the device will learn this configuration and trigger a fault if any pad is later disconnected or damaged. Alarm assembly. Switch on the radio base. The LED will flash green. If not, please reset the device. Mount the alarm to the radio base to turn on the alarm. The alarm will beep and the LED will flash red twice, then stop flashing. Repeat for each alarm. Device linking. Press the link button on the control unit. It will flash green and red, indicating it is in linking mode. Press the test button on the first alarm to put it in linking mode. It will flash red and green. The FHN 800 HIA will flash yellow to indicate a new device has been linked. The alarm will beep and stop flashing its lights when linked to the control unit. Repeat for each alarm in the system. Once all alarms are linked, Press the link button on the control unit to exit the linking process. Linked alarms ready for installation. Press the test button on the control unit. Each linked alarm will sound and the control unit will perform a self-hardware test. Please perform a test from each device in the system to ensure every alarm is successfully linked. Install the alarms, then retest to ensure the devices are in range. Linking additional alarms. To add a new alarm to an existing system, complete assembly and device linking for all new alarms. Remove front cover. Press the link button to enter link mode. Press the test button on the new alarm. After the new alarm has linked, press the link button to exit linking mode. Test the system to ensure the new alarm linked successfully. Devices. Press the clear button to enter unlinking mode. The yellow fault light and the red fire light will flash. Separate the alarm to be removed. Put the device to be removed into linking mode by pressing the RF button. The green and red LED will flash for a short time and stop flashing once removed. Exit unlinking mode by pressing the clear button. 
device reset. To reset the control unit, press and hold the link button until all lights flash sequentially. Press the link button again to reset the device. All lights will flash and the control unit will return to factory settings. The yellow fault light will appear, indicating no linked device.